We're not, yeah, we're not MSN News yeah, or you, you need to Today Show. This same thing, conversation we've had, I've had with every single major news media across the I know. world, I know. just in, in depth like this, over and over again. Yeah. Yet, yet people are saying, "You got guns." That's all they said. You got guns. They're yeah. going to shoot you. You <laughs> yeah. know, and, you know, and, and 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 the whole message is being drowned out. And yeah, stuff. and so. Well, I think one one question that we've heard a lot is is or or maybe it's not a question, but but a but a piece of misinformation that people have, or or that we've seen some, and I don't know how the best way to phrase this is, but you know we've seen a lot of maybe slanted media coverage that has said that it's wrong for a group of guys from out of the area to be here, and there's suspicion. Why are these guys? here now why them you know and, and this question of do the local people support it what, what, a, or what, a, not? what a great point because that that is a point that's made and and so we need to be very clear on something do we live in a democracy or do we live in a republic a democracy the simplest definition of democracy is two wolves and a lamb sitting down to decide what's for dinner that's a democracy we don't live in a democracy we live in a republic where the rights of the individual are protected against the rule of the majority, the tyranny of the majority. And so what has happened is there's ranchers that are here that have said, we want your help. Mm -hmm. We want your help. In the beginning, it was just a few. They didn't know what we were doing. And But at night, when, when, when all the cameras go away, that's when the ranchers would start coming. Mm -hmm. We would talk late at night from, from 7 to 1 and 2 in the morning. We spent all our time... They want to see what we're doing, and that, and and almost across the board, they express this fear and concern. If we stand with you, um, they will come after us. Mm -hmm. In other words, almost universally, if we do something, they, the feds, will come after our livelihood, our ranches. And so now, were you at that meeting last night? No. A huge amount of people from Harney County supporting, wanting us here, and so. Even if it was just one, the parable of the one, you know, you know, you, you, you stand by the one against the tyranny of the many. And so right now, even if there was a thousand Harney County residents saying, you know, go home, and there was just one saying, I need your help, please help. Why not help the one? But guess what? It's not a thousand saying go home and just one. And now there's hundreds saying stay, stay, please don't leave us. Don't start this and stop. Finish with believing you. I don't know how many ranchers, and, and just, there's, I'm not a rancher, I'm just a citizen, but we love what you're doing, I believe in you. Just a few minutes ago, the, the cowboy around the corner says, man, I, I was so proud of you. I've traveled all the way and I'm going back just to, they said, don't go there, you're going to die if you go there. You're going to die. He says, they're not going to shoot me. You know, and then I'm saying, they're not going to shoot you. At least not during the day, you know. And, uh, and, and, and anyway, um, he says, I'm so proud of what you're doing. Oregonian, the travel just here says, don't, don't stop, don't stop. And, and all these other people saying, don't stop, keep going. In. And so we, we must stay the course until they are able to stand on the feet. Remember what the sign is now up there? Harney County Resource Center. This yeah. is Harney County. This is Harney County property. This is theirs. And so we're working hard to pass the baton to Harney County mm -hmm. and go home. If we allow... America, if we allow the Hammonds to remain in prison with these great atrocities, this is go now the norm. And at some point, those you love, maybe yourself, will face the same type of, of atrocities by a federal power, centralized power. And see, I have been asked to meet with ranchers in, in South Central Utah that, uh, you know, like a, like a church house filled side to side, front to back, and expressing all the same concern that we have been pressed so far, so hard, that we we are ready to stop being pressed. And it's an issue throughout the state. And again, remember, this is an issue we're fighting for the access for rights, and the camping rights, and the hunting rights for those east coast, west coast, mm -hmm. as well as the grass grazing rights for those right here in Harney County. Mm -hmm. So one other question, okay. and uh, and I understand this may not be an easy one to answer, okay. but do you, 
do you have an idea of, of at this point you guys have had a little bit of time to start working on this mm -hmm. problem do you have an idea of how long you might be you might be here for you might be engaged in this process no we don't we, we, we um Evan, Evan Benny says that we'll, we'll, we'll go home not a minute too soon <laughs> not a minute too soon what I tell people is that as soon as possible but as long as necessary as yeah. long as necessary and I want you to know that uh these people that have come to try to help these citizens have done a, a great personal sacrifice to, to, to livelihoods, to, to uh, I, I won't even go into the, the personal sacrifices that people have come here. Yeah. You know, let alone, we, we've got, we've got a, a school commandeered by FBI agents, you know, you know, threatening and stuff. We're asking them to, you know, dissipate and that the tensions may even go down further and, and uh, Quit, uh, quit escalating it by increasing the, the federal power and force. And, you know, I, I hear, I haven't gone and looked, so I hear they got the, the cordoned off. Did you go by and see the school we where did. it's all the lights and no. it's all cordoned off? And, they, and see the lie that they told everybody says, oh, the community is so scared that they had to shut down the school. Well, they were telling us this lie. They're stalking it with, with FBI agents and, and, and military gear and stuff and going, you guys, you have no integrity. You have no uprightness. You know, go home. Quit, quit forcing this into a, a fight. Quit forcing this into threatening people. We're, we've never threatened anybody. We're, we're what forty miles away from the closest <laughs> yeah. town, and 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 so what are you going to do? You're going to come in here and, and wipe us out here? You know, you're the federal government. Of course, you've got all the power and resources. <laughs> that you could have this, have us mopped up and be home by dinner. You yeah. know, you could. But, yeah. But uh, but but please don't. Go home, st stand down, quit occupying the schools and the airport, and quit in, in, in they're escalating the tension by increasing the more numbers, they're bringing more and more numbers, and I'm asking them to stop. No, no, quit, quit. Don't, don't do this. What happened today with, uh, as we got here, there was, there was another fairly large group of people here, um, and I think they were referring to themselves as, is it the PPN, mm -hmm. the, yes. the Pacific Patriots Network? Yes. Is yes. that what that acronym that, stands that, for? That is, I believe. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a militia, uh, I haven't been part of them, but uh, um, they've been very supportive of what we're doing here, and so I believe that is the right ac acronym. That's a really good point, Leroy, that you just said, is uh -huh. that you guys aren't a militia. No. There is some militia here, but Am and me and, and uh, okay. Ryan, okay. Yeah, we personally are, are not. We're just, yeah. just just citizens, ranchers, <laughs> trying to help fellow citizens and yeah. ranchers. Yeah. That's all we're doing. But yes, they, they, they showed up. Um, what they have done, they, and they, they didn't come in here. They didn't intend to come in here. Yeah, but, but, but they didn't have a, pr prior to them coming here, there, you, you didn't have communication with them necessarily. Uh, I, it I, wasn't I, a coordinated. Well, I, I, I'm not sure of that. I can't speak okay. for jamming and stuff. But, but what they did is they came here. Whenever they travel, they travel with their own security force, and that's why they showed up with uh, the tactical gear. The media loved that. Oh, oh yeah. boy, that's... that was that was a feeding frenzy. You know, they, there's there's a militia. There's the there's the evil uh, AR. There's yeah, the, yeah. these are the guys, and so it gave them it gave them uh, red meat. It gave them fodder yeah. to to go ahead and and do that. And anyway, they came down, visited with Ammon, and met in the meetings and stuff. And then they went up and they left. Mm -hmm. And they're gone. I, I, if where to, I, I'm not sure, but from a distance, Americans across this country are supporting what they're saying to to the federal. Um, the federal agents are here says, just leave them alone. There's no need for you to go in there and 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 do anything crazy. Just mm -hmm. don't do crazy to them. Says this could be a powder keg if you do crazy things. Because if you do crazy things, then then crazy people do crazy things, and we don't need crazy. Mm -hmm. We need calm heads. We need it to be low key. Yeah. We're, we're here to help. We're here to help restore law and order. We're here to restore the Constitution. You know, we need the federal government to do its duty to keep our borders safe, protect us, keep commerce regular, and just learn a few other things, but not to entwine itself in every aspect of our lives. Mm -hmm. Go back to the confines of the law. Let the state handle the things of the state. Let the county government handle the things of the county. Let us be free. Let us be free. It addresses three articles to bring resolution to their occupation of this wildlife refuge. This is the mediation to start the dialogue forward peacefully and a discussion open 
with the federal authorities and with the county authorities.